YOLO, my fellow human beings, and welcome to episode 74 of The Best Plus Life. I'm your best host, Kristen, and today's topic is... Blonde versus brunette? Who has more fun? Do I have any question in here? <laughs> Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, share, like, subscribe, ring the bell... And please pass them on to anyone you think that they could help. With that being said, I have a new board to show you my to-do list. And now I see it doesn't even translate. You can't even see it that well. But it, I thought each rainbow line could be the different sections. So we're going to do positive words from the week. We're going to get into what I mean by blonde versus brunettes. Uh, we're going to get into, I know I've talked with you guys about this challenge before, but we're coming up on the end of year two, and I want to get some ideas on what y'all need to be challenged on for year three, okay? And of course, best life. Okay, now, I, have I given anything away by putting blonde versus brunette and then putting dessert versus dessert? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> I've decided to take on a different kind of challenge. Not only am I going to try and make each little component a little bit healthier, but we're making two desserts today. And we're going to make blondies versus brownies. And I thought brunettes sounded cooler when we're talking about, um, you know, who has more fun. And I had to get a new planner. Because I told you last week, I think it was, that I had to start writing in little sections and I was losing track of all the words. And so um, I got this pretty purple one because my daughter's favorite color is purple. And it says, keep shining your light. And it's nice because it goes through December of 2023. And it's got a harder cover. So I spent a little bit more money, not much. And I got a few more months out of it. It's organized a little better, so I can um, see it a little better. I really like it, and I got it at Staples. Um, I can't see the brand name. I just took the wrapper off it, and I've been writing in it for a couple weeks now. Okay, so we're going to start with Friday the 15th, and it was Mar Hoyo, M-A-R-H-U-Y-O, the state of enchantment or attraction to be enchanted. Um, Saturday the 16th was Elysian, Elysian, E L Y S I A N, and that means beautiful or creative, divinely inspired, peaceful, and perfect. Sunday, the 17th, was mellifluous, sweet or musical, pleasant to hear, or sweet sounding. Monday was seraph, seraphic, seraph, seraphic, seraphic, I think it is. Thanks, Evan. Um, means beautiful and pure, having a sweet nature, befitting an angel or cherub, of or relating to an angel of the first order. Okay, Tuesday the 19th was Koselig, K-O-S-E-L-I-G, a feeling of deep contentment provided by a person, place, or atmosphere, experiencing happiness and personal well-being through a combination of nature, companionship, and coziness. 20th was Virago, a strong, brave, or warlike woman, a woman who dis demonstrates ex ex I can never say this word <laughs> exemplary and heroic qualities. And today it was Ravi, R A V I, experiencing a deeply contented and satisfied feeling arising from a consciousness of being. And then it's got little sections for each month and just a to do list in the front. I don't know. I just thought it was such a... Oh, and then there's motivational little uh, blurbs at the top. So for... This one started... Uh, let's see. It started the end of June, technically. And the first is, she believed she could, so she did. Um, be passionate. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. And then the next one is, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. I'm hoping so. All right. So first things first, I'm kind of giving you away away my um, 
It's not my blondie recipe. It's actually Martha Stewart's blondie recipe. A little bit. The difference is I'm actually going to try and make a healthier version. The, be uh, the, the downfall to this recipe is I actually have to use the mixer. So we're going to be making a little bit of noise. And I'm going to do that first so we can get those started. But what I'm going to do, and you know how I have to change things up. So I have made this one quite a bit. That's the only difference. I have not made the blondie recipe. The difference in the, in the, blo I haven't made the brownie recipe, sorry. I'm going to get confused the whole time. Um, the difference in the blondie recipe is I've never made it like this before. And I am honestly quite nervous because I'm, quite proud of how accomplished I've become in Martha Stewart's Blondie recipe. Um, it's actually called a, to a brown butter toffee Blondie recipe. The problem being I'm not using butter this time. I am using coconut oil and um, I just fear my coconut oil is, uh, it, well first of all I couldn't brown it even though there were several websites that said that I could. Um, I tried. Nothing happened. This is my this is my browned coconut oil. <laughs> okay, so um, there might have been, had to have been a certain type. Mine is not um, unrefined, I think, is what it, the difference is. Okay, so that can make a big difference in the recipe itself. So fingers crossed, everyone. So the blondie one we're doing first. Okay, and the original recipe is two and a half sticks of butter. Where, there's the asterisk. A half a cup sugar, two and a quarter cup flour, plus some for the pan, uh, three eggs, which has an asterisk, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one cup toffee bits, and two cups packed brown sugar. In saucepan, you take your butter and you're gonna let it just brown. It takes about, I don't know, three to four minutes, it depends. I keep it kind of on a medium low because I don't want it to burn and I kind of just let it sit. I know you're probably supposed to stir it a little bit, but I just kind of let it brown on its own. I come up in like a couple minutes and it's it's done. So, um, and you want to let that cool a little bit because you're going to be adding ice to this recipe if you're making it the normal way. Um, and you're going to want to whisk together your dry ingredients. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to um, to our mixer ingredients, which is our two sugars and our round butter, which is a coconut oil. And then for the sugar, I am using half of that sugar as regular granulated sugar, and then I switched and put half of it, at, or a quarter cup of it, which would be half. Um, <laughs> I'm honestly not trying to make it more complicated. So I did half honey and half sugar. Um, three eggs I used, um, I have Greek yogurt for, and that's a quarter cup of Greek yogurt per egg. So I have three quarters of a cup Greek yogurt, okay? And then a cup of toffee bits, which I would not take out for the world. And how did I mess this up? Oh, I think there can't be the salt. I think I'm gonna mess up already. And I'll show you the, um, the the brownie recipe in a few minutes. I figure we'll just handle one at a time. Because if I look at too many, I'm gonna be going, wait, see I'm already confused. Is this salt? Yeah, that is salt. It was all just coagulated, one, if you can, salt can be coagulated, um, in one section. So it looked like I had dumped the sugar in with the, uh, yeah. That's the kind of morning we're gonna have today. I can see it already. Okay, and then I wanna talk about what's challenging you or what you wanna be challenged on or how you go about that kind of process. I know I've kind of mentioned it before, but as year two is coming to a close, I can't believe it. Two years, I've been doing this for two years. Um, okay, so it'll be the end of August. So that's like a month away. So if you guys could put in the comment section things that you think would help challenge you if I reminded you about them every once in a while. Like a pain in the butt. Like my kids tell me I am. Okay, so in this beautiful mixer, I'm trying to get her a little closer. And we're going to put our two sugars, which is two cups of brown and a cup, uh, half a cup, sorry, 
I'll get it yet. It's a half a cup of sugar. So I did a quarter cup of white sugar and I had to, did a quarter cup of honey. So wish me luck. Guys. And I'm going to actually take the pad off for a second. Oh, and the difference is they have you making these in 13 by 9 inch or 9 by 13, however you want to put it. It's still the same thing. Um, <laughs> but I am going to make them in mini muffin tins, which I have sprayed and floured, believe it or not. But if you have muffin papers, it might work just as well. Okay, and then I need this. I'm really, 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 you have no idea how nervous I am. Okay, let me put the honey in there. Again, my lovely Michigan honey. It's almost gone already. Just making these recipes for you guys the last couple of days. Which, oh my gosh, let me talk to you about. Uh, taco bake, eh, it still needs some work. I mean, it was okay. It was, it was decent. Uh, the breading on the top after a couple days got a little bit hard. I mean, you heated it up, it got soft, but definitely would try it with the cornbread mix on the top. And um, something with a little bit more liquid, I don't know. Did I drain the tomatoes? I think I might have. I might have left the tomato liquid in there next time. Um, just as a... Here, I'm going to just let that Okay. I'm so... Freaking nervous. I have no idea. Okay. Um, let's get this started. Right now, I'm just combining the sugars and the oil. And the, mm, here we go. You don't know. This is like, I don't know why this is freaking me out. So. sugars and just until combined so I'm not even done yet I just I'm gonna do it I don't know why that sickens me so much really, really I'm having a really hard time. okay so just until combined and it's as greasy as I've ever seen it I forgot I locked it see and I'm really super nervous. Okay, but let me tell you about the pie. Oh my golly, the pie is amazing. I am going to make it again because my husband's uh, girls at work, I am really, really scared. <laughs> Let's get it mixed up. It's just so oily. Okay, and then we're going to put in our um, three eggs one at a time. If you, oh my god. You have no idea how scared. Oh no, and I got it on the mixer. I'm just. They did say if you're using coconut flour to add an extra egg, and I think what I'm gonna do is actually use. Coming together. It's 
still look very, very greasy though. And I realize I haven't had the flour yet, but like I really need to be adding all that liquid in there too. I just need to get as much of it in there as possible. And I've never done that part where you add an extra egg to the coconut flour. Okay, so now remember what I've told you before was that um, when you're using coconut flour, you want an e you want to add an extra egg. I don't know what the recipe calls for. Okay, it's lightening up. Okay. I'm a little nervous because some of it is stuck to the sides of the bowl. It's, it's, it is working. It's a little runnier than I'm used to. I think that's why I'm so nervous. Skinny, skinny. So I am going to add that quarter cup of Greek yogurt. It's in my honey thing, and I don't really care because right. it'll get the rest of the honey out, right? Oh, I didn't mean to use that spatula. <laughs> That's okay. My it's my yogurt. I'm the only one that I mean, I shouldn't say it's just mine. I'm obviously using it now, but nobody will be eating out of this. I'm just using it for the rest. That's plenty. Get in there. Get in there. For the recipe. Here we go. Don't make the big flop. And that part of that yogurt was a little bit thicker, which I, is why I buy this brand. All right, so once we get this other egg, so now I've added a whole cup of Greek yogurt instead of three quarters of a cup. Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna mix it up. supposed to beat it on medium high for like three minutes or so. Let me get it all like scraped up. No, oh yeah, there's a lot stuck on the side here. I think this is what happened when the grain or the brown sugar it just kind of melted to the side of the bowl, which I'm not used to because the butter isn't that. So they're probably gonna have more of a chewier all the way on the bottom. That's one thing I don't like about my mixer paddle thing. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. All right. So now that we got that last egg in there, quote unquote egg, we're gonna put it on medium high for the, I think it's three minutes. Yes. All right, so here we go. Sorry guys, it's gonna be kind of loud. But the pie last week, oh my gosh, the uh, cherry and peach. I really love that flavor combination. For the, thing. the second thing, um, negatively I would say it was very runny. Well, not very runny, but I was able to dump some of the liquid off and it stayed off. So that was good. And it improved ruin the integrity, oh come on baby, didn't ruin the integrity of the, uh, I feel like I have, come on, oh my god, oh my god, I really should have had a timer, so, wait a integrity of the pie crust on the bottom that stayed pretty decent. Um, the crumble on the top was amazing. Again, I think I would add oats to it next time. 
because I like uh, uh, on the crumble part. Because I really like the texture, textural thing that happens with that. Plus it adds a little bit of nutrients too, so why not, right? Definitely lightening up, which is awesome news. Um, I'm still nervous about how it's going to cook up. Because it doesn't have any fats in it. So I think that's why I'm supposed to use the unrefined. It still has kind of a, I don't know, it smells really good. It's very different though. I, I think I've changed the flavor profile for sure. Um, so next we just have to add our dry ingredients, which is in this little bitty bowl. Oh no, I'm sorry, we'll do the vanilla first. I'm hoping the flour will bring it all together. And then what I'm going to do, since I have two pans, i got to bake in a little, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake kind of halvesies, so I get to try one of each. And then these are going out to, to two separate locations. Um, some people know about it, some people don't. <laughs> um, I love the feedback, so... As soon as you all try them, so they have to be mailed out, uh, so it might take a little while for you to get the feedback, but fingers crossed, I'm going to have them, uh, have them tell me whether blondies were more fun or the brownies are more fun. I don't know, I thought that was fun. All right, we've got a little fluffiness, but it's very, 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 very grainy. Very grainy. Let's see, what's the... It almost tastes like pistachios, which is very odd. All right, I'm putting in the vanilla. I'm going to go again. I might still add an egg. Okay, we got the vanilla in there. And then what I'm going to do, you know what, I'm going to whisk this little bit. This cord is going to be the death of me. Okay, I just want to whisk, whisk my dry ingredients. Now, um, I did, okay, so this is a quarter of a cup plus three teaspoons because that's what, <clears throat> excuse me, what replaces two and a uh, quarter cups of regular flour. Okay, I wanted to let you know. I don't know. I know I've been saying measurements, but I forgot about the three teaspoons. So we're going to put a little flour in. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. They do say that coconut flour is more absorbent than regular flour, so that's why you use quite a bit less. But we'll see how absorbent it truly is. Okay, I'm going to want to probably scrape it. Yeah. Really, really scared you guys. You have no idea. These blondies are like one of my signature dilios. Come together right now. Oh, honey. All right, well, that's mixing, which is not really doing all that greatly. All right, let me. I'm going to be so sad. Come on, baby. Alright. Still very runny. Definitely got all the stuff off the bottom now, so the brown sugar isn't caked on the bowl anymore. Alright. Alright, let me dump some more of this in here. Again, the recipe is changing right before your eyes, if you can't tell. I'm debating on whether to add more flour or more. I know I panic in these moments in my life. But who, because who wants to pour runny, oily batter into a, a cake pan? Nobody. 
but I think it might be coming together. I know I keep saying back and forth, oh, gross, but it tastes really good. And I like the honey in here. So it might be something I do from now on. See, you don't know until you try, right? You don't know. Soxy's helping me again today. Hi, bud. He's hoovering up everything I've dropped on the floor. Get in there. I really do love the flavor. Like a lot. Come on, baby. Let's try that fluffiness now. Maybe I just needed a way to do this part until I got the... I've got quite a bit on this here spatula. Let me get this in here. Let me get that in there. We don't want to waste a thing. Socks. You're driving me nuts. There you go. Alright, come on, baby. I forgot to scrape the sides after all that. Scrape the sides now. All right. Yeah, I really like it. It's a lighter because um, usually the um, brown butter gives it a little bit more caramely, you know, toasty, nutty flavor, which I think you get a little bit from the coconut. From the coconut flour and the coconut. I think I'm going to add a little bit more coconut flour. Oh, I could just see that going all over my face. Let me wash my hands. Alright. The one thing about the blondies is they are a little bit more labor intensive than the uh, brownies, well, at least so far. The brownies are a one bowl thing. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I might just add a hair more, but it really did. Yeah, I'm going to add just a bit more. I'm going to get these cookies open. Okay. So, yes, uh, I got rave reviews on the old... Um, Once that was literally one teaspoon. I mean, I could have just been that a little bit off. Yeah, it does seem like it's uh, thickening nicely. It's very white compared to what it's what I'm used to it being. But okay. and I know I keep back and forthing, but this is how we learn. I'm hoping. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm hoping I remember. Okay. I think I don't want to do any more because I don't want to compromise the um, texture too much. Yeah, I think we're there. Okay. I think we're there. What are you doing there, Bubba? Okay. And then, last but not least. Get in there. It is a bit, I'm used to it being very thick. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should add a little bit more Greek yogurt. One, because the sweetness factor, because of the honey, is a little bit more intense than when I make it. <laughs> I cannot believe you, God. When I make it the other way. Grab. And maybe I just I'm a little off on the, on these 
these measurements. You know, with these kinds of things where it's thick and or sticky, it really is hard to kind of measure perfectly. Okay. I don't want to make it too white either. That was probably a teaspoon and a half, even though I actually tried to bring it to. She suggests a wooden spoon. I don't know why. It's not like I'm friends with her, so I can ask. Martha, if you're watching, tell me why. Tell me why. Okay. All right, and lastly, if I can get our toffee pieces out. Okay, hopefully the dust will help. Okay. Okay, bud, I think you got enough. Way different texture. Okay, am I gonna bite the bullet on this one and add an egg? I'm a little scared. I mean, by little, I mean a lot. It's, it's a, no. Go with your gut and just finish it out, right? Okay, the, the Greek yogurt helped to get rid of some of the... Sourness. I mean, it's sticking on the thing, but the texture is just so bizarre. And the color. The color's just throwing me off big time. Because it's usually because of the brown butter. So much darker, and the dough is usually thicker. Usually thicker. Hmm. All right. One executive decision that I'm probably going to regret. Have you ever watched somebody um, think something through so that wasn't going to be like the end of the world if you decided it wasn't necessary? But I don't know what it's going to do to the for it. One egg. I'm going to put her in there. Do your thing. Give us a little, give us a little, um, come on baby. Give us a little binder. That's all I'm looking for. And now I want to do this, which means I probably over, over beat the dough. Anything, but okay. I'm not doing anything else. I can't torture myself or you people <laughs> any longer. Okay, and we got to get to the brownies besides. Okay. All right, come on out there. It will be so much easier. Let's go the right way. All right. If we could just. I see why TV hosts don't like 
try and get the last little driblets. Okay, move. Hey, come on. Go that way. Thank you. No, not that way. No, not that way. Oh my goodness gracious. What a day. What a day. Come on. Okay. So we're going to use this guy because you know how much I love to use this guy. And we're just going to... I think I need a new one though. Or it's not great with the toffee pieces. And we're just going to put one scoop. I think I tried to do more last time and then they ended up not cooking. Um, they had a divot in the middle. So let's see. A twenty Is this 24? Yeah, 24 and 12, that's 36. Let's have 36. 18. So I'm going to do 18 of each to start. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. All right. What is the... It's... It's definitely such a weird texture. It's almost mar marshmallowy. I hope to God it's not. Or these won't be the ones that get sent out. I'll just warn you now. I might just have to make them normal. I'm kind of doing an over scoop because it seems like some of it gets stuck in the. And like I said, these are normally in a 13 by nine inch pan. But I figured for the taste test, it'd be so much. So much easier. Oh, I like a bit of chocolate in there. It helps. I'm going to do it this way. So I can. It feels like I have so much more dough now too. <laughs> I want to get a good amount because for the taste testing part, I want them to be able to compare a couple. These are definitely blondies though. Okay, come on. All right. I feel like there's some sort of vacuum thing happening. All right. All right. Come on. Oh yeah, I left a lot of it in there. I think the toffee pieces are not happy with my scooper method. Okay, we'll get that off my finger. I'm gonna take this bowl off. We're gonna get rid of the mixer. I'm gonna pause and get this out of the way I'll be with, with you in a second. All right, guys. That didn't take very long. But, okay, off to the side you go. Now, the brownie recipe. Got to go over that with you real quick. So, our brownies, a.k.a. our brunettis, uh, also preheated to the 350 in a 13 by 9. One cup butter melted and cooled. Can you see that? Helps if you can see it, sorry. One cup of butter cooled, melted and cooled. One cup of sugar, one cup, everything is a cup. Because once I work it out, it was a cup of coconut oil, a cup of Greek yogurt. Okay, anyway, sorry, didn't mean to switch on you here. Let me finish the recipe. One cup back, brown sugar, four eggs. There's an asterisk there. The sugar should have an asterisk by it as well. One tablespoon of vanilla. Yes, I said tablespoon. Uh, one cup of flour, asterisk, one cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of espresso powder. That should have an asterisk by it because I didn't have espresso. Um, one teaspoon of salt and one and a quarter cups chopped chocolate. Okay, and I'm going to put that guy over here so you can see. I'm sure you can't see either recipe, but anyway, I can turn and look at them if I want. So they said to sift 
In a sauce, oh, wrong one. See, I'm already looking in the wrong one. Large bowl mixed together, butter. Aha! Yeah, I can do directions. Um, and I've already started sifting. So I'm gonna need another bowl. Well, isn't that just dandy? Um, all right, I need to pause for one more sec. Sorry. Why did I not see that? Okay, this should be fine. Oh, I walked away while Anna was <laughs> paused anyway. Okay, didn't pause anyway. At least I hope not. Okay. So we're supposed to, I just grabbed a bowl like. Let me rinse this off real quick too. So I'm gonna use the same. This is my favorite spatula. I wonder if anybody else has favorite utensils. We all had a family favorite spoon and my husband broke up. I forgot to tell us about it. And I kept going, where is my favorite spoon? <laughs> anyway, okay. All right. Anybody's finally ready. So in this bowl, we're gonna do the butter, which we're using coconut oil, both sugars, the eggs, which we're using um, Greek yogurt and vanilla until smooth. And so this is our coconut oil. It is not melted, but it's very, very soft and pliable. So I'm not going to melt it. I think this is the perfect texture. So this is one cup. Okay, and the two sugars. And then to replace the regular white sugar, I forgot I had this Moreno um, like sugar cane sugar, so that's what I'm using. If I can get these in here in this little narrow opening without wearing most of it. Okay, then we're gonna mix those together. They said it was supposed to be one bowl, but because I messed up, it's going to be two. And this is one bowl. This is one cup of brown and one cup of the reg the regular sugar, or if you want to use granulated. Again, we're gonna have that same kind of issue of running ness. I do like how it's mixing with the uh, when it's soft like that. So maybe I shouldn't have melted my coconut oil for the last recipe. Okay, Bob, got goalie that. Okay, and then what else are we supposed to put in here? Both sugars. Oh, the egg. Okay. And the vanilla. So let me get the egg in here. Said do not overmix too, which I probably have already done. That in there. That all mixed up. And then you say to yourself, how is this gonna be brown? <laughs> okay, come on. I would just eat this. This smells really good. All the way to the bottom. That's the bad thing about a tall container. Is you can't get down there. Okay. You obviously know I'm gonna pour this into that. I hope. Okay. Oh my gosh, this smells so really good. Oh, and then for the um, espresso, which I didn't have, I used a um, teaspoon of instant dark. I can't even hold this bowl. There we go. I think I get to the bottom. Get to the bottom of it. I mean, I've already got stuff on the. I've already got oil on here. Okay. And then I need the vanilla. Can you believe a tablespoon of vanilla for um, brownies? I don't know. It just seems like so much. Okay. I love vanilla, though, man. If it wasn't, if it tasted as good as it smelled, I mean, if you tasted it on your own, I'm sure you've tasted it on your own before. All right, we don't want to overmix it. So in my little screeny thing, I have um, 
the quarter cup of coconut flour, the one cup of cocoa powder, the one teaspoon of instant coffee, and the one teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to get this all. Now, you know, the I think it's the three things I say have to go with, um, together when you're baking. It's chocolate, salt, coffee. Then I get broken up. I need all this stuff. Those are just nuggets that are hard as a rock. Okay, and then I did that. So it says sift in flour, but we're gonna do it the other way around. Kind of gonna, kind of gonna, kind of gonna. We're gonna kind of fold it in. Again, we don't want to overwork it. I'm very upset with myself that I didn't read the directions properly. That's on me. Hopefully you will be more diligent. So, let me know if you all want, anybody wants to be testers. I know sometimes you look at me and go, why would I want to test your food and make it look so a lot of it turns out good, I promise. Some of them are complete disasters, I agree. But I have had a good share of desserts that I now want to make on a continual basis. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. This is going to be some fudgy brownies. Yeah, I think it was just that I melted the oil. I think that's where my fault lies here. Remember, we're trying not to mix it too much. I don't know if it's working out very well or not, we'll find out. The thing with <laughs> coconut oil, because it's so granular, it does give things a different texture. But I'm okay with it. It also makes these brownies and these blondies Gluten free. Oh, but I, well, my eggs are, are still gluten free. They're not dairy free anymore, the blondies. That was the other thing I was trying to go for, was dairy free. It didn't work out very well. I mean, I probably could have gotten away with not. Remember, I'm doing this the exact opposite way of the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Just remember that, please. Because. Oh my gosh, is this thick. I know it's, does it say fold? Oh no, it just says fold in the chocolate. I'm like, there is no way of folding this. It is, I'm gonna push these off the counter too, aren't I? Holy moly. Let's give the left arm a workout. You know, this is a perfect opportunity for you to use your muscles without, you know, even really thinking about it. These are turning out way better, I have to say. Let's get most of that in, and then I'll scrape it, the rest of it out. Okay. So, I didn't quite have a cup and a quarter, I think that was the, yeah, of chopped chocolate. What I did have was almost a little over a half of the semi-sweet uh, bar that I had, and I chopped that up and then I had mini semi-sweet chocolate chips so that's what the um, you know what I'm gonna clean this off because I'm gonna wanna uh, break the inside of the uh, with this one I think because this one's not too long enough I am telling you the thickness on these brownies and the texture is turning out quite nicely too, I must say. Very fudgy like, which is like my favorite. Even my family loves those. 
cosmic brownies. Uh, little Debbie's, I think they are. Okay. Put that off of there. I'm gonna leave that in there for a second and let's see how I can. Yeah, we left quite a bit in here. It is not the most appetizing looking um, concoction, I will give you that. And some people might not make it specifically for that reason. I don't know, but I think you should try it at least. If you can get rid of some of the ickies, toxic, gross. Now keep in mind that Moreno sugar cane, sugar is a, like a more, and I'm gonna try and use it more often as well. Um, I was using dates for a while, but chopping them up small enough to get them Now again, we're to the point where we don't want to over mix it, but I have to get the stuff mixed in. So that is where we're at. I'm really proud of the, the batter on this one. I don't know if that should be a thing, but it's very chocolorific. I'm just going to show it for you real quick. Look at that. I'm nice and thick. Okay. So here's our cup of chopped chocolate. Some of it's super big. <laughs> Some of it is super big. Okay, but it's going in. I hope everybody loves chocolate as much as required in here. That seems like so much chocolate. And then we're just gonna fold it in. Oh my golly. We might as well just call this chocolate candy. It's so, so thick. Okay, I think we're done doing that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all these bowls real quick. And then I just have the little, little cup of uh, minis, because I think there's supposed to be some that go on the top. And I have to rinse off this, because it's the only little one I have. I'm gonna have to go buy a new one. Same process for this as for the, hopefully. I don't know if those chunks of chocolate are going to let me scoop this like I want to. I'm trying to cut down on paper towels, too. I realize I'm a little bit. Wow, that takes a little bit fast. I know you don't think it's been fast, but. Okay. So frankly, the only thing I would say is I want to get this stuff off of here and maybe do one more pass around with all the, but it is. So thick. Know that. Okay, now, fingers crossed these will scoop. And funny thing I'm getting right now is that they're thick, but I'm still getting like a light texture to them. Like, I thought they were gonna be a lot harder to. Let me try a little bit. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking good. You know what I might do? just to make this even more fun. Holy crap, those are good. It's so freaking easy. Sorry. If you know me, you know I have a potty mouth. So it's been very good. Uh, I, what I might do is do them both in the same, try a couple that way anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, now, the question is, I didn't really think about baking. They both need to go at least 20, no, at least 30 minutes. So, but because I'm baking them like this and not in a big solid thing, 
I almost want to see if I have a brownie or a cake mix where it says if you bake them for, you know, cupcakes as opposed to cake, what happens? Okay, and in the home stretch, guys, I'm going to put them both in at the same time. So I'll have quite a few done. I'll see how they're cooking up. This brownie, I'm telling you, this brownie batter was really easy and fun. Easy, super, super. If you do it right and you follow, <laughs> follow the directions. But I'm telling you, flavor-wise, you would not know that I didn't use any eggs or regular flour. Sugar. Um, yes, brown sugar I use. I don't know. It's not healthier. I know it's not, but... I don't know what I feel like it is. At least I like that molasses favorite. Okay. I forgot. I almost forgot. I'm, I, am I supposed to do this before I put them in? Yeah. Sprinkle the rest of chocolate on top. So we're just going to do like a couple two tree. couple two tree. I don't know. I'm falling off. Oh, get in there. You're not even in there. I mean, it's got enough chocolate, if you ask me. But what do I know? Come on. You know what wouldn't hurt is to give these blondies a little bit of chocolate on top. All right, I'm going to take a pick. I'm going to put them in. I'm going to let them go. And I will come back and share how being scared about something I challenged myself to keep going because, I mean, that's what we got to do, right? Some are going to have more chocolate than others. Sorry. Okay. In they go. I swear somebody dropped a pizza on the glass part of my oven. Nobody's fessing up. Okay. All right. In they go. And like I said, we're going to probably do... At least, let's do 25 minutes to start, because I'm really concerned about the texture. I don't want them to. But the whole point I'm here, I want to challenge, I want to see where your, your heads are at. What What is it about next year that you want to focus on? Do we not call them challenges? Do we call them goals? Maybe next year it's not challenges. Maybe it's goals we set for ourselves at the beginning of the year, which is August for me. So I guess it's like a school year. Think of me as a school year, except I go year round. Um, but think about, um, sorry, give me a talk off camera. Think about what it is in your life that you know you want to get to, but you're not really getting there. And what it is I can do to maybe help you. Because I know I need some help. And um, I know as a whole, I can't always keep up, <clears throat> excuse me, because I feel like I have too many goals, and I feel like that's my other problem, like, I'm pushing myself to do all these things, but then I'm also pushing myself to, you know, try different stuff, and be unique, and try to help a lot of people, and I think with just the healthy eating for one thing, or at least healthier. I don't want to call it healthy because truly, let's face it, it's not always the healthiest. I'm sorry, Bobby. Keep an eye on him. But it at least makes it so that when you're eating more than one, that you won't go, crap. I'm going to feel like crap tomorrow. You can honestly say... Well, I didn't put too many bad things in there, and I actually added some positive things that actually give you some nutrients. So, the um, we know that the coconut oil does some good things, or people wouldn't be, um, I think it's called pulling the coconut oil. I used to do that. I should get back to that. That actually, and I used to, and I used to put it in my coffee too. It's very coconut oil and coffee is very good, and it's nice because you get a little bit. of like a chapstick finish when, when you're drinking out of a travel mug. 
um, and the and the Greek yogurt. So not only are you getting a sweet, but now you're getting some protein too. So I don't I don't think that negative things have to be completely erased, but I do think that we would all feel better if we got some of the bad things out, like white flour and white sugar are two of the, the worst um, kind of things for inflammation. Um, and, and then even just sugars you're talking about, getting high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So we all want to do, we still want to have our treats, but we want to, we can do it healthier. We don't have to sacrifice completely. So I said, what challenges you? Um, because, like I said, I want to do the new challenges for next year. But I also think maybe we should frame it a different way. Call it something different. Like, do these challenges end in a completed goal? So instead of an open-ended thing where we're doing it every day, and we're trying to keep ourselves motivated, um, which I'm still going to do, uh, I think instead of positive words, I might be switching to... Um, helpful quotes, something of that nature. Um, I'll keep it posted on that. I do like doing the positive words, but at some point I think I probably, it is getting a little rough to try and come up with different ones, ones that I haven't used before, new words that I'm trying to learn. So that's the other thing. Um, I think not just positive words, but other words, things that I want to know more about, you know, that I hear in everyday language and go, Oh yeah, I know what that word means, but in my head I'm going, I have no clue what you're talking about. At this moment in time, I can't think of a single word that I couldn't um, come up with the definition to, but it definitely um, is something I want you guys to consider in the coming month. So I want you guys to think about those things um, while we're paused here coming up. Um, Comment section is always great. Message me in Facebook at Kristen Haas, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-H-A-S-S. -S. And um, also on Instagram and YouTube, I am, you can find me at The Best Blessed Life. So I'm going to let you go for a little bit. I want you to focus on things that you want to accomplish. I'm going to let you know about some of the things I want to accomplish and we'll finish up our first... Ooh, they're sizzling. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay, guys. Well, in all honesty, I have to say I'm very, very scared because they're deep frying in their own oil. So... I have to say, this is an experiment that might not have gone very well. <laughs> I don't understand why the brownies are doing that because they don't look oily. They, the, um, so I don't understand that, but I don't know. We'll just have to see if it just starts cooking within itself, I guess. Um, this, uh, we have five minutes left on the first 25 minutes. I guess we'll go from there. All right, so hopefully you all have figured and worked on some challenges to get to your goals. Um, I know I've gone over these stretches with you before, but I'm thinking it might be nice if we just kind of did some stretches while we, while we wait for our brownies and blondies to, and puppies, <laughs> so cute. Are you gonna stretch with us? All he does is follow my hand, he just sees shadows. Okay, so you're going to take your arm across your body, straight across. You want to lower the shoulder. You want to bring it in. Use this other arm right by your elbow to tightly, and then you're going to bring it across and let it stretch the whole, probably crushing my microphone, the whole back part of your arm and your shoulder. You're going to bring that, stick on my leg. You're going to bring that arm up, over, you're going to grab it, you're going to gently pull, so you're going to stretch out the back of your arm, and you're going to tilt to that same side you're pulling towards. So if you got your right arm over your head, you're leaning to the left. Okay, 
Then we're going to come up, and we're going to bring the other one across. And we're going to lower the shoulder. We're going to bring it in nice and tight. And then you're going to move a little bit of a rotation so you can get the back part of your... Okay, and then we're going to take the same arm up and over. Grab with the other arm. Gently pull and tilt. No. He literally just came back inside. Then we're going to come up. We're going to reach side to side, nice and gentle. Just trying to stretch out your rib cage. Get those abdominals all stretched out. We all get squinched when we're. I guess you don't have to bring your arm down all the way. And then you're going to grab your right wrist with your left hand and you're going to tip. No! Go! He stopped, sorry. And then you're going to come up. Just hold them for five, ten seconds. And you really want to make sure you're going to the side, not towards the front. Gently pull on that arm. Then you're going to come up. Reach again. I'm trying to think of what I do next. Oh, then we're going to bring arms down. Palms facing frontward. <laughs> then you're going to flip them. And you're going to face them towards each other. You're going to grab behind you. And you're going to gently pull down. Remember, don't do any of these if you're uncomfortable, if you don't have that range of motion. If the doctor says no, no, that's the first thing I should have said, sorry. And then go from there. Oh. And then if you can, move it away from your body. Oh, that stretch feels so good. Okay. And then you're going to take your legs about hip distance apart and then make two little baby steps out with each leg. Okay, so you're in a kind of a... And you're going to lean to the right and stretch out that inner left thigh. Then you're going to come up, and you're going to lean to the left. Oh, my God. Holy moly, holy moly. All right. I do those twice because I really like how they feel. So you're going to go back. Get that good stretch. Breathe through it. If you notice it loosening up and you feel like you could handle just a little bit more, make sure you can lean over to the side just a bit more. Don't overdo it. And then back to the Know your limitations. Yeah, I have a feeling these are a major disaster. <sighs> okay, then you're going to take your foot out in front of you. I mean, kind of off to the side. Your toes up in the air, and you're going to kind of sit back into your hip, and you're going to feel it stretch all the way. You want your toe face coming towards you if you can. And you'll feel that stretch all the way back up the back of your leg. Yes, I can speak. And then you're going to do the same thing. And you, if you can, grab that toe and pull back, and you'll stretch out the back of your leg even more. And then we're going to make some nice circles around. I mean, it was a quick little stretch, right? Bring them forward, really make circles around. I have a feeling we're going to have to... <sighs> Redo this. And then you're gonna reach forward, press your palms towards that out, that wall in front of you, and then you're gonna make a nice big circle around. Oh, that feels so good. I I get why it would be like that for the um, brownies, but I'm not. I mean, for the blondies, but I'm not really sure I understand it for the brownies. And yeah, they're they're pretty much cashed. Okay, guys. Well, I don't know what to do because they're just puddles of oily goo. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go away for a little bit. I'm not going to get rid of the dough. What I'm, I'm going to try to do, um, because what all the, the websites I read, I did find one that says I should have added a little bit less oil to it. So what I'm going to try to do is um, see if I can add a little bit more flour. So they're just way too, way too oily. And these are I mean, 
flavor wise, they'll probably be delicious. Delicious, but um, I don't know. So I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna finagle. I'm gonna let you know what I did. I don't think you need to watch the whole process. I'm sure it'd be quite boring, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> I refuse. So um, let me see what I can do. I'm gonna do a little research. I'll go away and I'll be back because this episode is already over an hour and I don't wanna hold you up while I just read stuff. So wish me luck. They smell really good. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back. It's been a disaster of a day. Um, they really, uh, like I said, were so oily. They were almost like taffy. I tried a couple. One was just like getting stuck in my teeth. Um, so what I did was I just added like a few more teaspoons in each to see if it would help give me a thicker dough. And I've also, oh my gosh, getting them out of the trays was horrifying. And I remembered I went to Walmart after Christmas and they had their mini pack or packs of mini baking cups. You got 150 for 50 cents. So, and it's going to be a lot easier to swap these out and put in new liners than it is to, um, what do we do with my feet? Than it is to, um, respray and then reflower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep testing them. I'm doing two at a time. I might go down to one at a time just so I don't keep wasting the dough. But at some time I'm going to just have to call it just a disaster right now. It is a disaster right now. So um, I'm going to put them in. I'm going to keep you posted. Okay, guys. Well, I got one more experiment going on in the oven. Otherwise, I believe this one is an epic fail. Am I upset about it? Mm, kind of. But I'm also, I've learned so much from this that um, I do believe I bought the wrong coconut oil is the issue. Um, because I've gone over my measurements a bazillion times and um, I feel like every time I add more dry ingredients the, when I cook them they just get greasier I don't know how that happens um, I started out with trying two of each actually yeah two or three of each and now I'm down to one of each because I'm running out of batter but at this point, I have put in here, uh, this is the Blondie mix batter that I've probably overbeaten as well. Um, I've added several more teaspoons of uh, coconut flour, which I've read is good. They said maybe add a splash of milk. Sometimes that brings it together. I tried that. I'm like, oh, how about cornstarch? Because at least then it wouldn't weigh it down and it would also suck up or be absorbent and suck up some of the grease and it wouldn't add any extra flavor to the dish. And it wouldn't change the profile as far as how it turns out, like whether it's supposed to be more cookie-like or more cake-like, that kind of thing. It wouldn't do that too much either. It actually lightens it up a little bit so I wouldn't be you know, heartbroken if that worked. Um, and I did a couple of teaspoons of each of those in both the brownie and Blondie, but I might just have to cut my losses. So I will keep you posted. This one's a long one, but maybe we're all learning something from this. Like I'm completely covered in trying to get those things out of the, the tray. Oh, well, it, it's just, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, well I'm on my last experiment. The last one, eh, don't know really. I didn't even let it go for very long before I noticed they were still getting kind of oily. These aren't turning out the greatest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. And I'm going to let you guys find out what happens. If you follow me on Instagram, you follow me at The Best Blessed Life. And if you follow me on Facebook, it's Kristen Haas, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-H-A-S-S. -S. And you can find out how I was able to turn the experiment around. Or if it ends up being a total disaster. Either way, I'm going to cook them all because 
why not? It still tastes good. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn, I'll figure out a way to freeze them and turn them into like ice cream bonbon things. I don't know. Maybe I can, oh. Ding, 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 ding. I bet you we can mix it with some um, vanilla ice cream and make it like a blizzardy type thing. Just a thought. It does get gooey and, and it does it would break up nicely. All right, this episode has been long enough, so I'm gonna let y'all go because I know you're all are busy and I love spending time with you, but I got stuff to do. All right, remember, I wanna know what your challenges are. What do you want to talk to me about? What do you think your goals are for the coming year? All that is important to me, send it to me in the comments section, DM me, whatever you wanna do. And with that, I want you guys to have a good day Go do great things, be your best self, and please live your best blessed life. Thanks for watching. Bye.